Hey, what's up guys? So, uh, today marks one year since I've graduated. I, um, so what have I been doing? Well, last year, uh, when I graduated, uh, I had a lot of opportunities that I declined. Two months later, I got a call from the local union 1245. I worked for them for six months. I quit in December. I had baby number two born in January. And then now I'm working for, I'm working for SoCal Edison now, which is a utility nearby and um, nearby where I live. And um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been pretty cool. Pretty good. Right now they, um, they put me in a hotel for the next four weeks. So we're just been, uh, doing some training and um yeah uh it's been pretty awesome so far um and eventually i'll go through the uh apprenticeship that soka edison uh offers it's pretty cool so <clears throat> if you guys have questions on more details that you guys want to know let me know um i'll just make another video on all the questions that that you guys have been uh, asking, okay? Uh, I do have a lot of questions here that I was gonna answer. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so uh, how's the book work? I heard it's pretty hard with all the math. So the book work is just a lot of reading. Um, that's all it is, just a lot of reading. Um, nothing, uh, nothing too crazy that you can't comprehend. It, you just got to take the time to understand it. That's it. And the same thing with the math. It's not hard. It's just you got to be patient and the whole learning process of just taking it slow. That's it. It's not hard. Just read. Just read a lot. Just read a lot. Um, do they offer any per diem? Um, I'm looking into the CalNev JATC. How do apprentices pay for lodging? Um, yes, they do offer per diem but it depends on the company and how much. Um, how do apprentices pay for lodging? Also, same thing, depends on the company. They either pay it for you or you pay out of pocket. Just depends on the company. Oh, and by the way, CalNev JATC, they are accepting applicants. So look into it if you guys are interested. Um, are you still doing union local work? No, no, not anymore. No, I'll be, I'm working for a utility now. Uh, or did it work out with PG&E? I never worked for them. I just worked with them or the other way around. I was just a subcontractor for them. That was it. Um, and then I'm going to the Edgewater, Florida NW LC program on 1423 and have been following your journey. So I know what to expect. Really love your content, man. Hope you keep pumping out videos. This all helps a lot to prepare me for the life after school. Hey, good luck. <laughs> There's a lot of different avenues that you can take, so I hope you just pick the one that works best for you. So good luck, I hope you do well. Um, hey, I got a question. Uh, what were your study habits and what did you use to study? I'm in Florida now in school, just got done with the first week. Hey, congrats. <laughs> um, what were my study? Um, the study habits were, um, so after class ended, I would go home. Well, yeah, after class ended, we would, I would, uh, I would review what was said that day. And um, during the time of COVID, they had recordings online on the portal. And I would just review those. <clears throat> and there can be two to four hours long. And um, I also went on, like, when I went to go grocery shopping, went to the gym, went on a hike, I would put earbuds on and I would listen to it again. And um, I did that a few times. And I did do a lot of studying with my uh, roommate. Uh, we would sit at the dinner table, mostly on the weekends, but um, 
we would sit down and we would study from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., sometimes 10 or 11. It just depends on the test, depends on, you know, if we didn't understand it that well. So it just depends. But yeah, that was mostly how I kind of did, you know, my system. And we didn't really go out much. I think we only went out twice and it was pretty much at the end of the semester because uh, we kind of just we just knew our shit and we were just like all right let's just you know kind of relax a little bit but um that's what it was kind of like it was kind of like um a lot of breaks in between though it just wasn't like a whole like six hours straight you know studying but also yeah um another thing too i went over the videos for like on the field like changing out cross arm and changing out the insulators um for the infield videos i would watch those uh the day before so i can kind of get into like a rhythm when i finally do it and um it just kind of ran smoother uh, i was a little bit more efficient with my movements so not going back and forth back and forth and trying to figure things out i did a few times but it did help me to do it that way you know um because it was all about like being smooth so it was really nice uh hey man thanks for making video uh this video it's great did you get into a union i did um but now i quit um how's the apprenticeship going so far i was never an apprenticeship i just worked for a company um that they were looking for groundmen and i was on the civil side so i never did line work i just did construction where it was building walls and fences, digging holes and um, doing concrete slabs. You know, it was on the civil side. Line work is line work, that's just line work. Um, I'm thinking about starting a six month climb school in Florida, but I don't have a CDL. Did you go to a CDL school also? Yes, I did. And I went for about a month and a half because that's how long it took me on a personal level. And yeah, month and a half, I got my CDL. Uh, were you on a moving crew? Uh, how did you manage to live in your car? Uh, were you on a moving crew? So I think what you, yeah. So if I'm understanding right, like, uh, did I bounce a lot? Yeah, uh, I bounced a lot in California. Uh, I would go to uh, Lake Tahoe, then I would go to uh, Sacramento, and I would be in San Francisco, and I would go back to Lake Tahoe. So it was a lot of that, and then I would go to Reno. So it was, yeah, it was a lot of bouncing around. But yeah, it just kind of depends on why. And I mean, like, there's a lot of unknown variables. But honestly, I think it was just because I had a CDL, and they he really needed someone to drive a water truck. So I did get bounced a lot. Um, uh, how did you manage to live in your car? Um, I mean, like, I've done it before, so it wasn't too too hard. But um, I only did it so I can save more money. So, um, but it wasn't too hard. Uh, it was just kind of like uh, taking it day by day and uh, improvising a lot. Um, not really have a plan, but a goal. So if things don't go to plan, you're not stressing on it too much. Um, but yeah, it was just a lot of that. Yeah, not too bad though. Uh, can you update us on life after Northwest Line College? Um, I think I already did that already. Uh, but if you guys want more detail, ask the questions that you want. Uh, what type of jobs did you get? Um, so yeah, after I graduated, I had a um, had a job. Well, I had an apprenticeship in Colorado. I declined. Um, I had a substation job in Florida. I declined. I did. I had a telecom job in San Francisco, and wind turbines job that I also declined. I think there was one more. I just can't remember. Um. Uh, are you an apprenticeship yet? No. Uh, SoCal Edison, the utility company that I'm with right now, they do offer them. Um, but I don't get to get 
into an apprenticeship yet. Uh, I gotta pass a probation period and then I kind of just have to prove to them that I'm actually ready for it. So, not yet. Um, have you applied to any union contractor apprenticeship? Mm, not anymore. Um, where are you working now? So, okay, I'll let it sound. <laughs> okay, uh, that was it. So, yeah, uh, if you guys have more questions, let me know. Um, I know that I've been kind of just uh, been silent for a while and I can see that I'm you know getting more subscribers and everything and more questions so and I see you guys kind of emailing me here and there and just be patient um, I will get back to you and yeah um, so hopefully it's nothing too urgent <laughs> but uh, yeah just uh, email me if you need to um, more private questions or not or um, just put it in the comments. It's easier if you just put it in the comments so then everybody can see your question and kind of benefit that way. Um, so that's pretty much it, guys. So um, good luck to anyone that's out there trying. <laughs> it was it, it was hard getting to sell cat Edison, not gonna lie, it was. It was really hard. Um, but, you know, good luck. Good luck to anyone's out there that's really trying. Just keep on going and don't give up. Don't give up. Um, be be consistent. Be consistent. Um, yeah. All right, guys. So uh, catch you guys next time. And yeah, see you guys.